You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Welcome to A Call to Heal with your hosts, Carol Lee and Julia. If you're tired and not feeling energized or not sure what your purpose is in life, Carol Lee and Julia are here to provide information and energy to make a greater you. Now, please welcome the hosts of A Call to Heal, two powerful energy movers, Carol Lee and Julia. Hello, and welcome to A Call to Heal. I'm your host, Julia Stubbe. And hello, everyone. I'm your host, Carolee Schloth, and you are tuned in to the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And we are grateful and appreciate each and every one of you who are listening live and those who are listening to the recording as well. We will be taking calls from those of you who would like us to facilitate a healing. So please call 855-856-1380. And if you would like further information about us, you may go to awarenessbeyond.com. But everyone, guess what? Julia is here in Pennsylvania with me right now. And tomorrow night, we're going to be doing an open group here in Schwanksville. It's called the Real Moon Ceremony. And we're going to be working with sound and lots of energies to really make an impact on our physical, emotional, mental bodies, as well as the planet. So if you want more information on the True Moon event, um, just go to awarenessbeyond.com and you can register there. And we would be looking forward to meeting you and hanging out with you for the evening. So each week we start off with some guided imagery and Julia is going to do that guided imagery this week. And it's an extremely powerful and fast way to really reach the deep resources of your mind for healing. So... As we get started, I would like everybody just to take, you know, a nice deep breath. You want to get nice and comfortable. Close your eyes. If you are operating a car or machinery, let's leave our eyes wide open because we don't want you to move into alternative realities while you're driving. And stay focused on what you're doing. Let's center ourselves by taking three deep breaths. Breathing in gold light of peace and joy. Going deeper with each breath. One more breath. Holding the breath. Releasing. And one more. Breathe in. Hold the breath. And blow it out as if you were blowing out a candle. Let's bring our attention to our heart space. Begin to think of earth and all the beauty. See the forest the oceans, and magnificent mountains. Feel the love you have for the planet. Begin to build this loving energy up and send it down to Earth through your root. Send it to the crystalline core of the planet, connecting with the divine feminine and divine masculine of the planet. Let the love of the planet return to you, filling your heart space Feel this love rising up through your body. Allow it to run perfectly through all your fields. Now, think of all that is beyond the earth, the planets, the stars, the galaxies, and the suns beyond the suns. Feel the love that you have for all beyond. Send this love up through your crown to the core of creation. Feel this love returning to you. Allow it to run through all your fields, blending perfectly with Earth's love. Feel this blended love and expand out through your fields, perfectly blended. As we continue to feel these powerful energies, we bring our consciousness back to our heart. Feel your heart. Feel these potent energies running through the core of you. 
Drop further deeper into your heart. Stay connected. Your higher self knows how to do this. Now, imagine that you are at a powerful sacred waterfall on the side of a beautiful mountain. The waterfall cascades into a warm pool. See yourself standing at the edge of the pool. Dive in and allow the waters to clear all the dense energies, all negative thought forms, and all beings off your fields. Swim through the waters, feeling this release. Go deeper into the water to release deeper into your fields. Now, just float in this incredible water. You notice colorful fish swimming around you. They are sharing the gift of their colored rays. Absorb the perfect energy of colors for you right now. As you continue to float, you can hear the birds singing so many beautiful calls and sounds. Let their healing sounds penetrate your fields. Absorb the perfect sounds to heal your fields. Accept this gift. Now, notice the huge colored crystals at the bottom of the pool. These powerful beings emit energy to help you open, clear, align, integrate, balance, and stabilize your chakras, your meridians, your organs, glands, bodies, systems, and all systems within all bodies. Open further to this incredible healing energy. Continue to float, enjoying the energy of you. Expand your fields further and open to all you remember. And so it is. Thanks, Julia. That's making all of us feel a lot better. I know that today there's a lot of energy on the planet that's filled with anxiety. And many of us that can feel the energies have been walking around with a lot of clogged energies, particularly within the solar plexus and heart. So thank you for that, because I know it lifted up a lot of denseness. And one thing I wanted to talk about, it says about sound when it was listening to the birds. And I wanted to talk a little bit about how sound can really change the energy or that vibration or that density. So what you want to add something to that? Yes, yeah, sound is the organizational principle of the universe. And what that means is that sound affects physical matter. It affects living matter. And if we think about the human body, the primary energy of the human body is water. And sound affects water tremendously. Light and sound are the primary drivers of intercellular communication. So sound that we use here on the radio through our voice, as well as through toning that we use here to help our clients that come on to heal, has a huge impact on the intercellular level of our bodies. So sometimes, you know, we tone together and sometimes we tone separately. So you may sound some interesting Um, noises tonight because spirit has really guided that we're going to really work with sound through the healings tonight and if you want to know more about sound you can google the word some c-y-m-a-t-i-c-s semantics and this is the study of how sound affects physical matter and you can actually see how they'll tone and make sounds and it will make the sand move into patterns and it's pretty cool to look at and it really lets your mind which often blocks us into believing some of these new ways of thinking are true but sound really has a huge impact on us and affects our physical body as well as our mental and emotional bodies So the other thing we need to discuss is that Carolee and I don't heal anybody. We're just uh, what I would say as channelers for the energy or the information to come through so that you can receive the energy and empower yourself to heal yourself. And you want to talk a little bit about layers as well, Carolee. So when we're healing ourselves, which is what we're all doing here on Earth, we're literally peeling away layers of denseness, so layers of false belief and programming that's stuck in our bodies that keep us repeating old patterns or just keep us looping around doing the same old thing or staying in fear. And when we work on ourselves and we heal the energy, it comes off like an onion layer upon layer upon layer. And sometimes it may come off several layers at once, but typically it takes a while. So things that happen tonight, you'll begin to feel some change and then whatever it was that was being healed you may feel it again but on a lighter level and that's what continues to happen if you continue to keep working with the energy 
Which brings up awareness. We really want to look at our infinite awareness of what's going on around us and what's happening. Because with awareness, that allows us to actually notice change, notice what is different, and notice the light that's coming within us and the healing that's happening, which encourages even more healing. So what that would look like, what that would look like was today, Joy said, Carol, I went down the road and there was a big block in the road and I had to go another way. And then I was going somewhere else later in the day and the road was closed again, a different road. What do you think that means? And we both looked at each other and started laughing because, of course, it's a huge block. It's redirecting you to go another way. And so then Joy just, you know, got still and took it deeper and figured out what's really going on and what herself is trying to tell herself. And that's what it means by being aware on one level different level. Yes. So with that block, it just means that I I was coming up against blocks. And was I creating those blocks myself? Was this something I needed to be aware of? So when I got in that still place, I just saw that I was creating that out of fear. I was creating those blocks out of fear to keep me from moving in a straight line and moving forward. So I released that and I'm hoping the next time I'm on the road, there's no more blocks. That's for sure. <laughs> and Julia, maybe some people don't know what you mean by I release that. Could you explain that to them? Sure. What I go in is, and I acknowledge it, and I honor whatever's there, and I thank it, and I say, and I say with intention that you no longer serve me. This, this energy of blockage no longer serves me, and I'm going to let it go now. And I give permission to let it go now and release it. And sometimes it doesn't want to necessarily go. So I'll ask myself, well, what do I need to do to heal this? And I'll just listen to that still voice. And sometimes I'll tone or make noise to help it go as go as well as if it's hanging on. So when you're releasing, it's just about giving permission to let go. So when Carol Lee and I are um, facilitating a healing for someone else, we always ask, do you, are you going to let this go? And that person will give permission because maybe they're not ready to let it go or they do want to. So you, even if you're not a caller, you have that option as well to give permission to let those that energies go as well. Which brings me to the point that the people calling in, they are the facilitators for all of us that are listening now and listening in the future to this call. So we honor them for calling in and bringing to the attention of all of us energies that are within us that we need to let go. And sometimes Julia and I will see the energy funny. It may look like bracelets that are slave bracelets. And all this means is that it's energy that's deep in your DNA and your programming that's causing you to repeat patterns of slavery and servitude or it may see a whole bunch of spiders and that tends to be fear in what you're going to create so we'll see it in different ways and that's part of the fun of the healing but it can look a little different yeah and that i still always get kind of excited when carolee and i see the same thing so it's like it, it, it confirms and makes it more real for us when we're seeing the same thing. So you can use your imagination and visualize it as well. But if you don't see it, that's okay, too. It's still happening. And so we have several callers lined up that are going to be coming on, and Julia and I will be re- looking at their fields. And so what that means is we have an energy system that runs through our body that's connected to our chakras, which are energy centers along the body, which connect to all the fields of the body. And we have different fields, such as the physical body, the emotional body, the mental body, and different spiritual bodies. And so things that come on the physical plane are coming from those other bodies, our, our spiritual, emotional, and mental bodies, cause what occurs in our physical body. So Julia and I go into those bodies when you're on the phone looking at what we see there and aid you in releasing those energies. Yeah, and one of the things somebody brought up is that we connect with source, all creator within each and every one of us. So that's where we see the energies from. We clear and exclude all outside information because and we cannot control that. So we don't we don't want to filter it all. We just want it to be whatever comes through at that vibration or that level. So Julia So Julia and I go in and connect and we connect directly up to source. And when we say connect, we're going deep, deep within our hearts. So we're going to take a short commercial break. And coming up after the break, we will take start to take callers. And I'm your host, Carol Lee with Julia. And we are here at A Call to Heal. We're on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. 
Dr. Rob Moyer is the director of the Ocean River Institute, and he is passionate about saving the ocean by helping dolphins suffering from nitrogen pollution. Nitrogen is a dangerous pollutant, affecting our oceans, altering ocean ecosystems, and contributing to global warming. The Ocean River Institute provides opportunities to make a difference and encourages people to go the distance for savvy stewardship of a greater and bluer planet Earth. Partnered with organizations from Massachusetts to Florida, Alaska to the Caribbean, the Ocean River Institute's mission is to foster involvement in conservation and environmental monitoring by facilitating grassroots efforts at local and regional levels. Hello, I'm Rob Moyer of the Ocean River Institute. Please visit our website at oceanriver.org. Sign up for free e-alerts. You may call us at 617-661-6647. Our email address is info at Ocean River. Become informed and then act with us. Thank you. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkalife, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. Welcome back, everybody. You are listening to A Call to Heal with Julia and Carol Lee on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And before the break, we were talking about what healing is and how it works. And I do believe we have a caller in the line. Is Tammy there? Yes. Hello. Hi, Tammy. How hello. are you? Hello. Good, good. How are you? Good. I'm really glad that you called in tonight. Thanks. Yes. Your, your meditation was amazing. I just felt so drawn into that. Cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, Tammy, why, if Carolee and I could do anything, well, we're, and we really don't do anything at all, what could we do for you tonight? I, I have an issue with my family. Um, like the cord, I need cord cutting or something done because every time I try to leave or move on from them, they pull me back. As soon as you started talking, I got the word clogging and constipation. So there's a real heavy, heavy blocked energy there. Do you know what it is? Do you know what the the main energy is that your family keeps playing around with and repeating? Money. It's about money. Okay, so it's about abundance. Yes. And knowing that you can create abundance. Right. Right, okay, so let's begin to see what we see here for you. Well, the one thing that um, we want to say to you is that you can always clear those cords. What happens is, Tammy, is they come right back. So we constantly, continually clear them, okay? So it's not just one time a day. All you have to do is think of your, your child or your parent, and the energy comes right back. So we continually cut cords. We continually clear our fields, okay? So that's one thing okay. that will help. But Julia and I are going to go in and look here. Okay. So we're going in, and we're going to go into your root chakra because I see, like, there's an octopus with all the tentacles sticking out. So there's a lot of cords there. So we're going to – and it's actually smearing that black ink all over to just delude and put everything in a fog as well. So we're just going to release that octopus. Are you ready to release him? Yes. Okay, so we're just going to let him go. And there's some baby ones there. Are you ready to, if we have to leave the babies go too? You think they're so cute, but you know, they're, they're, they're not serving you well. So you ready to let the babies go? There's seven of them. Oh my, yes. Okay, that's six, three, two, one. Okay, they're gone. 
say, Carolee, what else do you see in there? So, Tammy, what I'm seeing there in the root is this goes back 14 generations on your father's side. I saw tons of ladybugs, and it brings up a ladybug, ladybug, fly away home, and I'm like, what is this? And I could see that it was a village, and there was huge burnings, and that octopus represents grief, and this is deep, deep down. But what what's continuing to happen is the family's continuing to replay the energy, replay the energy. So there was a time when everything was taken away, and we're left destitute. And the destitute's the deep, deep energy that we're letting go of. So I want you to go into your heart and just drop your consciousness down into your heart. And all of your fields are connecting here. And we're going to go back these 14 levels and release this energy, these 14 lifetimes. You're the facilitator of this and you can do this. There is grief there, we're letting up. Okay, we're stuck on 12 a little bit, so let's just go in there with a little bit of extra light. Some golden diamond light. 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 3, 2, and into the now. And we're actually going to go three generations ahead as well. There we go. So... What I'm being guided to do now is just to recalibrate your DNA. And right before Julia does that, there's the energy of defense and attack that keeps kind of going back and forth. So we just want to clear that out of all of your fields before she boots you down. There you go. You're clearing it all out. Flood with golden diamond light and violet light. It's just residual. You're just having it left over in your fields from all this. And we're going to take it out to all of your family members through all the millennium, through all the lifetimes, those that are ready to let go with you. Okay, so we're just going to reboot all your systems down, recalibrating your DNA, and back on. Four. Three, two, one. Okay, and now you're back. So now let's see where our attention takes us now. I'm being drawn to the heart. Yep, right to it, exactly. Okay, so we just have shielding there, which of course we would from all that has occurred. So it's time to let the shielding go. But what you're telling me right now when I said let go of the shielding was you're also showing me cloaks that you wear. And these cloaks have to do with hierarchy and power. And it is time to let these go so that your higher self can flourish through you in this reality. So are you ready to let all this go? Yes. Okay, it's going to be easy. There you go. You're starting to lay down the cloaks. You have about, wow, 30 of them. Some of them are magnificent. One that you're putting down is this pink one with roses on it. And even though they're stunning and beautiful, it's still time to let them go so the authentic you can come through. Okay. All right. Tammy, are you you on a speakerphone, hon? Yes. Okay, can you can you not take it off the speaker because we're getting a little bit of feedback. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go back into that art channel. There's three channels in there in your heart, and they're like rivers. And what there's these jewels at the bottom of them, but some of them there's some mix, there's some hard rock in there. So we're just going to sort it out and remove the the rocks that are sharp and pointy, and they're still causing those jagged edges. And just remove those and let the sparkly emeralds and diamonds and rubies just shine through. Wow, and that's allowing you to really open and just go with that energy of openness. And what I'm saying is that your your heart is huge. You're quite loving and you really do impact a lot of people. Are you aware of that? Yes, yes. Yeah. Just let this flow now. That shielding's removed. 
You're just going to let the energies of your heart impact and touch so many. It's beautiful. You're surrounded by daisies. This is your life plan, your soul plan. It's being enhanced right now for you to see. And we're just going to bring more clarity in. So just open your crown, allowing the energies of divine clarity to flood through you so you can know more and more who you are, why you are here. It's making me giggle because you already know a lot. <laughs> just going to be reawakening it. So, Tammy, what are you feeling now? Where's your attention being I'm, drawn to? I, I feel a sensation at my crown. Okay. Your intuition, your, it's expanding and opening. And you already know that you have some intuitive gifts that are going to be larger and bigger. Here comes a ton of energy in through your crown. You're releasing some more. When we took those cloaks off, you did take off a lot of the hoods that went with them. But there's also a few residual crowns, I call them, that you'll be releasing right now. Fully opening that crown, your crown, more. Clearing all the false crowns. There's a brick in there, which is funny to see. So this is a huge, huge block, Tammy. You ready to get rid of the brick? It's like random compared to what I was saying. So that's important. <laughs> I so am. Let's let that, I am. I'm yeah, ready. It's a heaviness that's been stopping you from really believing your intuition at just at certain times. So let's just really fully clear that out. Okay, there's a little bit of remnants of mortar, some cement that it was clocked into. Okay, so we're just going to like power, 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 wash that down and clear all the residual. How does that crown feel now for you? Oh, it feels much better. It feels open. Okay. What's your heart feel like? It it feels like it's beating a lot. <laughs> it feels like it's beating harder. Yeah, when we release shielding, sometimes it'll feel like it's skipping beats and, and going faster and faster. And that's really the heart chakra spinning. And so for okay. you, it's going to be coming more balance. Yeah, so let's just bring harmony and balance into that heart space. Okay. And grace and ease as well. And then I'm being drawn down into the solar plexus from here. Yeah. And we want to bring harmony into the solar plexus as well. And there's five eggs there. Two of them are rotten. They're implants. Connect. They were connected to the heart. They just got disconnected. They were implants that were connected to the heart. They just got disconnected. It's time to release those. They're holding a lot of false programming. Okay. So you ready to let those go? Yes. Okay. Well, there's one that's like a robin egg blue. You're saying, but this one's so pretty. <laughs> Are you ready to let that one go too? <laughs> I am. I'm ready. Okay. All right. Great. Okay, so Tammy, we're we're finishing up here. So, is there any questions you have, or any feedback you want to give us? No, um, no. I'm just. I felt a lot of releasing through this whole thing. It was amazing. It really was. It and was amazing. And it's really important that you drink water and get in water as well. If you can get in a shower or, or a, like a salt bath or something, that'll help clear the residual out as well. Okay. And your higher, your higher self's telling me that for you to tone, and do you do that already? No, I don't do toning. Well, when you get in the shower, just whatever sound comes to you, it's a good place to start because you know how we sing in the shower. Just start going, yeah, whatever comes to you. And it's really going to aid you in clearing the cording and the old, old energies that are going to be releasing. Because remember, this is a nonyan. So you went down, I think we said 14 levels. I can't remember right now. That was 14 generations. Yeah, 14. 14 generations. Yeah. So if we release that in one moment, you would probably almost explode. So it's be, it, mm -hmm. it will release over you know a little bit of time here so just be aware of it when you feel that yuckiness come up just tune tone it off you okay okay awesome thank you okay. so well, much thanks thank 
Yeah, and thank you, Tammy, for calling. So now we're going to go to a short commercial break, and then coming up after the break, we have another caller. And again, I want to thank Tammy for calling in so we can facilitate this healing for everyone listening. And I'm your host, Julia, with Carol Lee. And we are here at A Call to Heal. And we are in the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And we are here to facilitate a healing for you. So please call 855-856-1380. Stay tuned and we'll be right back. Renaissance woman, trailblazer, maverick. Those are just some of the words to describe to Chandra Poulard, owner and CEO of House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC, a woman minority veteran owned entertainment company based in Washington, D.C. Ms. Poulard served 10 years honorably in the United States Navy and departed from active duty to pursue her dreams of becoming an entertainment mogul. House of Virgo Entertainment offers script writing, producing, directing, DJ services, editing, and more. They cater to businesses, corporations, college students, working professionals, aspiring artists and nonprofit organizations, and employ veterans of the armed forces. Tashandra Poulard is pioneering the way we view media and taking her brand global. Visit her at www.houseofvirgoentertainment.com or call 281-515-3740 and like her on Facebook at House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC. Certified professional coach Pamela Reeves can help you with your relationships. Motivational and image coaching are just some of the ways she can help you enhance all aspects of your life. Her book, Is It Love or Merely a Sick Attachment?, helps readers clearly distinguish healthy, loving relationships from toxic ones. Ms. Reeves has put her words into action through Ray of Hope Kenya, an international initiative that provides outreach to victims of abusive relationships there with the goal of helping them rebuild their lives and the tools to avoid abuse. Ms. Reeves operates various business interest through her umbrella network, Nella LLC, and credits her success to her diverse work experience. Whatever your goals, whether striking a balance, reinventing your image, or simply lifting your lifestyle, Pamela Reeves will help you achieve them. Your life, your call. Dial 410-902-5715 or email Pamela at pamreg01 at verizon.net. She's also on the web at pamreeves.com and on Twitter at Pamela underscore Reeves. And welcome back, everybody. You are listening to A Call to Heal with Julia and Carol Lee on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And before the break, we were talking to Tammy, and she really facilitated, led us through a tremendous healing, and we want to thank her for that. And I hear we have Lana on the phone. Yes. How are you ladies this evening? Good. How are you, Lana? It's great to hear from you. Well, thank you. I'm stuck. I feel like my boots are in mud and quicksand and I'm sinking. And I guess... Yeah, right. um, Right when you called in, I heard brilliant, brilliant. And that's where you're stuck. You're stuck getting to your brilliance. Does that make sense for you? Well, you know, Carolee, I seem to be stuck on all levels. And it's like I... I go to bed at night searching for what the stick of dynamite is, you know, what's, what's going to blast us apart. And it's like, I know that there's a lot of negative things going on around us. And it's like, yeah, but I can't be stuck in all of this. I've got to keep moving me on. I think a lot of us feel exactly like you're describing right now, Lana. And I know you're thinking, oh, but this has been going on a long time. But seriously, many, many of us feel like you're feeling. And we all we feel stuck. Even today I said to Julia, I wish it would all just blow up. <laughs> so, so the change would happen here because the energy was so stagnant today and anxiety causing. Yeah, we, we were both yeah. feeling that too, but... When I'm looking at your fields right now, there's there's three things that are, are coming to my attention. And yes, you have the boots on but you, and you're in the quicksand. So what we want to do is, first of all, you want to lift up and just let your light shine and let it lift you out of the quicksand. Just let it lift you out of the muck. And there's a little bridge there that you can walk across. So you it's your choice to walk across it. And then you, you're going to go over there and you're going to sit on this little bench and you're going to take your freaking boots off now. Okay. Yes. Can we do that? Okay. I'm so the laces. Is- yeah. Okay. Well, you still once you get rid of the mud and the muck. <laughs> and while she said you were stuck in the mud with the boots on, I saw 
a ton of alligators. And so I went right to look it up while you were talking with Julia, and it said, this is a time for renewal and new beginnings as you emerge from the dark period of your life. So that made me chuckle because you had quite a few of these alligators around you. But it's time to release that energy, too, along with the boots. So you're ready for that? I am. Okay, so you're sitting on the bench, your boots are off. So the next thing I see is you've got chains wrapped around your knees that are connected to your hips. It's like it's like a really, it's like a really contorted corset belt. That's all I got to say. It's like a garter belt made out of chains. I think it's time to go. So you ready to let that go? I am. It is strong and deep, and it is going back and back as generations, as we saw with Tammy. Yours is going back ten generations. And I get it's on the mother's side. Yeah, there was a huge, huge. I'm going to call it like a stampede, and I'm not even sure what this is, but it looks like horses' hooves just coming and coming and coming. Yeah, like there's, she's, you were in a corral, and you couldn't get out, and something spooked the horses. So we want to clear that energy where you were, where, where you were created fear, and you, you, you just were, it was a violent, violent death. That was 12 generations back? I think about 10, oh, but 10. it doesn't matter. Yeah. You ready to let that go, Lana? Begin to release that from your fields. I am. And so I will say that there is no, no, really, no time. So it's actually going on right now. So let's let that right out. There we go. Right down to your core there, particularly in your solar plexus is where this is all anchored in, rising up and down the hips and the knees, just like Julia said. You're holding on to it, though. Okay, let's go in and release all vows, contracts, commitments, everything that's locking this in place. Lana, there's a whole bunch of guilt here and as though you have to hold on to this because we don't know why that occurred in that other reality. But it's time to let go of the guilt in order to let this go. So we're going to bring in the energies of peace and forgiveness. Letting that guilt go. Pool. So now we're just going to we're just going to do a recalibration before we move a little bit further down. So we're just going to recalibrate your DNA to accept this new energy and this new information. 5 4 3 2 1 Okay, Carly, what do you see now? I'm seeing a beautiful diamond being placed in your crown and your heart, and this is a gift to you and it's the energy of cherishing you. For you to cherish you, that magnificent being that you are. And that light's going to expand out all the way down to that 10 or 12 levels, generations, whatever we want to call it. Letting that happen. Yeah, and you're blocking the deservance now. So there's something there that's blocking that saying, I don't deserve this. So so you do deserve this. You're beautiful. You're perfect in all that you are. So you want to release that non-deservance energy? You're going to let that go? Yes. Yeah. I'm getting, you're, you're saying that, but your heart's not in it. What I'm getting back in that lifetime was that it was a punishment putting into that corral or whatever it was. That was the punishment to bring upon the death. So there was something that you were found guilty of which whatever it was it doesn't matter anymore it is truly truly time to let it go i'm seeing a martyr crown so we're going to release that you were an example they used you as an example and as we create all of this in this reality it was for spirit for us to to know and feel that whole reality so it's just time to stop that from flooding through this reality to change to change that So are you ready to let that go? Yes. Okay. Yeah. 
You did it, Lana. It's all loosened up and moving. Energies are flowing through your fields. Oh, you just kicked your legs up. Bending those knees, showing me that. Let's bring in the energies of flexibility. Flexibility and being able to move with all this change that's coming. Not only for you, but for everyone. And that's the point. You're like a lamppost that holds all this energy to share with others. Aren't you lucky? So how are you feeling, Ella? Yeah. What, where does your where does your attention go to now? Um, my solar plex. Like I'm just really holding too much. It's the anxiety. Yeah, that's that's anxiety. So, and that's actually an energy that we're all actually feeling right now. So, Lana, Julie and I work with our own devices. You know how we work with getting rid of implants and so forth? Well, we've created our own implant and device, and I've activated mine in my heart. Other people have put them in their solar plexus. Would you like to activate your own implant to help with these energies? Yes, I would. Okay, so where do you feel that you need to put this within your body? Like, I'm, I'm thinking that area, like, right, right in the midriff, like, above your navel, below your sternum, like, okay. that part, just it's really perfect. a solid part of you. Okay, so what we want you to envision is almost for you and see if this resonates. It's like a spiral device, and it will go right within there, and it is this energy that you control. It has a dial. And what you want to put as the first program within this implant is the anxiety buster. And this dial can go from one to a billion. And probably right now you want to start at at least a thousand for the levels of the anxiety that you're feeling. So just intend that. The device okay. went in. And I want you to realize that it can hold thousands and thousands of programs. It can hold programs for sleep, programs for cord cutting, programs for everything. And there's even a program that if there's outside programs that aren't yours that are interfering with your program, you can delete those. So so be aware of that. I do, I do feel I've picked up some garbage because there's just so much garbage around that, that some of it has sort of stuck to me like a post-it note. Okay, so so if you can think of a program, you can create it. So create create yourself a Klingon removal program or an clear. or a clearing entity program, and I just want you to note, notice how you feel and amp that up to two thousand, and just amp it up and just notice how you feel and then just let me know. So what are you feeling? Can you feel a difference? I do, but Julia, I want to feel light like a feather. Okay, well then amp it up. (laughs) Keep amping it up in degrees. And if it gets stuck, put in a belief program because that's the other thing that happens to us. We start believing this can't really be this simple and it can't really work this way. So then you keep amping up your belief program and along with your other programs, it can be amazing. If I get really, really Klingon covered and I turn up my Klingon removal, I can feel it in a second. And today I had to turn my anxiety buster up to over 10,000 because the energies out there are so strong with um, feeling that powerlessness within the solar plexus that the planet's feeling. Yeah, because even we, when we we clear before we get on the show and we had these beagles and they were representing that we had the entities and the Klingons. So we had to amp it up to like 5,000 just to clear what we had pulled in from the day. And then we still had one little puppy left and so we then we did the cords and we cleared the cords and then he was content and he was pretty happy. So if, like I said, if you can think it and do it and then you just that awareness of how how you're feeling differently about it and you, you just do it in increments and turn it up. Does that make sense? So did you turn it up, Lana? I did. I guess I have a little anxiety about can I turn it up too much at one time? Well, if you turn it up too much and you feel too light, <laughs> you can always dial it down. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah, don't let, socks no. off. Yeah, don't let fear, don't let fear be part of your decision. Just go check in with your heart or your higher self and just listen to the number if that's what you need to do. Okay. 
I just saw thousands and thousands of feathers, right? And they were like piling on you and you're afraid that the lightness will be too much for you. So let's just clear all those feathers out and that whole false programming that the light's too much. That you will be able to handle it. Okay, so I'm seeing something at the back of her neck right now that has to go. It's like spiny and it's like eating the back of her neck. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's funny you said back. that, Julia. I was like <laughs> moving my neck around and jerking and acting spastic. There's a, it's like a Klingon there. There's an energy. It's eating your um, back of your neck, which is how you create. So this is the shadow side of your throat. So you really, really want to let this go. You ready to let this go, Lana? I am. <laughs> You told me you've been carrying this around for a really, really long time. But it's okay to let it go. So we're going to give it love. And we're just going to let this rise out right down. We're going to send this up to the sun. It's very cold. Chahu you. Releasing all the vows and contracts and everything that's locking it in place. Letting go of the gargoyles that are aiding it and holding it there. There it goes. Whoa. Okay. So, Lana, we're going to finish up here. So, is there any questions or anything you'd like to add? No, ladies. Thank you very much. Oh, and thank you so much for calling in. We really appreciate you. Yeah, I'm glad you put that in, in there. What did you just say? Love to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Lana. (laughs) Bye-bye. So so I just wanted to say our listeners, like, okay, a device, an implant, what are we doing here? It's in the way, another way to do it, because we as these human beings, we have these monkey minds and we need to be able to entertain it because it is really that easy. So we created this device so that our monkey mind is entertained so that we can do that. So that's how, but it's our own device. So I just want you to be aware, we're not putting anything in you. It's your choice. You create it. You're the, 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 the God creator within you is creating that out of your highest and higher self. So I just want you to know that. It's just another spiritual tool that you can use to aid you in this reality. And it's it's so simple, and that's what we love about it. So what else do you want to add to that, Carly? Anything? I just want to thank Lana for coming on. I'm, again, thanking Tammy. We appreciate all of you that call in. So we're going to take another short commercial break, and then come on, up, coming up after the break, I believe we have another caller on the line. And again, I want to thank Tammy, and I want to thank Lana for calling in, and I'm your host, Julia, with Carolee, and we are here at the Call to Heal on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Baby boomers face many challenges, and sometimes you have to reinvent yourself in order to stay on top. Sharon Ball, nurse practitioner and Christian life and wellness coach, can help. Sharon has written a book called Reinventing Yourself Today, and it can help you through the pangs of changing the course of your life. Whether you are looking to stay on track with new goals, a sensible program to help you shed unwanted pounds, or a full kick-butt life reinvention, Sharon can work with you. Follow your passions and live each day according to your dreams and free yourself from the expectations of others. Sharon comes from the heart and shares her own personal journey to reinvention with her clients. Other self-help books inspired her, but few gave her the steps to improve her life, so she created a plan that works. Stress no more. Let Sharon Ball open the door. Sign up for a complimentary life reinvention consultation today at tinyurl.com forward slash get started for free for more of what life has in store. For over 50 years, Evelyn Stapula has been a loving advocate for people with disabilities throughout the state of Pennsylvania. President and founder of Big Heart Bridges, her organization actively campaigns for legislation and support of civil liberties that meet the needs of disabled individuals with housing, transportation, and employment. Ms. Stapula has joined forces with a variety of esteemed organizations that advocate for the disabled. She serves on the board of the United Cerebral Palsy of Pittsburgh and the Governor's Cabinet and Advisory Committee for People with Disabilities, and she is a consultant for the Pennsylvania Governor's Conference for Women. 
Her many efforts have led to the implementation of a transportation program for the disabled with the Access Paratransit System of Allegheny County. Evelyn Stapoulis drives daily to serve the interests of the disabled, to protect their freedoms, and enable them to live normal public lifestyles. To learn more, please call 412-491-2605 or email Evelyn at ers92645 at verizon.net. Attorney Renee Marie Smith is changing the way we sell real estate. She wrote a series of books called My Short Sale Guru Guides for all real estate practitioners. Whether you're a homeowner wanting to understand the process, an agent who has been handling short sales for years, or an industry analyst wanting to know how short sales impact your business, Renee uses her vast real estate experience to take a comprehensive look at the recent market phenomena while relaying it in an easy-to-understand format. Through her company, Smith Title Services, Renee has counseled thousands of short sale participants and processed in excess of a thousand short sales. Her knowledge is transformational for real estate professionals and laymen alike, and her live presentations provide people the opportunity to ask specific questions about their issues. Buy her books and schedule her to speak at your next event. Visit www.smithtitleservices.com or call 305-705-3428 or email her at renee at smithtitleservices.com. Isn't it time to sell your property today? Learn the My Short Sale Guru way. Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Carol Lee, joined with my co-host, Julia, and you are listening to A Call to Heal on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. So before the break, you know, we facilitated some healing for Lana and Tammy, and now we have Laura from Virginia Beach. So Laura, so why are you calling? What What could we facilitate for you tonight? Um, just, it's so lovely to be with you both. Um, just my physical body, I'd like to make sure that my heart physically is all is well there and that's clear. And the headaches and migraines that I've been having which may be tied to work or whatnot. But in any event, or certainly something deeper. That's it. Just the physical body tonight. Okay, I'm looking right into the crown. And what's going on with your crown has to do with other realms. It has to do with the energy that you're attempting to hold here in this reality. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the fear there. And there's a gripping device along the back of your head. And it's time to let this go. We don't need to have, we don't have to suffer. So we're going to release the energies that are locking that in place. And we're flooding you with divine power. And I'm hearing to give you a cognizance for you to awaken to a cognizance of what this all is that's happening in your head. And you already know what's happening in the reality. Yes. Yeah. And so it's just your body trying to hold these higher levels of light. Okay. 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 So let's bless you. Bless that crown and allow it to do what it needs to do and to know that you just have to take care of yourself in ways that allow this energy to integrate easier. And so we're going to flood with a beautiful golden diamond light. It's tinged with turquoise. And we're just going to make some sounds here to help you integrate. And you you know how to do this. And just hearing us say this today is going to make huge change for you. It's just you re-remembering. Who is you? Who So I'm being guided into your heart now. And you have the four chambers. So we're just going to go through and we're just going to run golden diamond light through all the chambers and through all the arteries and veins connecting to the heart. And just, I just want you to feel your heart and harmonize and balance. And that's, and I I see the walls are strong. Do you see the walls are strong? Yeah. A lot of love and security expanding through you. Just keep running those energies, those vibrations. Your heart's fine. I've been having pain. I've been having pain, and I didn't know what that was. It's the expansion of your heart. (laughs) That's what it is. It's literally (laughs) the chakra expanding. Great. Okay, wonderful. And, Laura, I'm hearing for you to consciously reconnect the brain to the heart. So thousands of years ago, humanity severed that. We call it the fall. So just consciously right now, tell your brain and heart to reconnect so that you're completely navigating the world through your heart. There you go. Yes, yes. Simple enough. It was pretty much already there, fully connected. And feel that energy flooding and running up and down from the brain to the heart. Yep, I can. 
Mm-hmm. I know I have chills all over my body. The hairs are standing straight yeah. up on my arm. <laughs> so any, anything else where your attention's being drawn? To your eyes. Yeah, to uh, your eyes. There's, a, there's some shielding on your eyes, Laura, that's ready to go now. You're just going to be seeing yeah, the world differently. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, letting them go, letting that intuition just flood through you. Wow, that third eye just burst open. Wow. Yeah, so we're just Yeah, so we're just going to connect the crown to the third eye, through the throat, through the heart, down through the solar plexus, the sacral and into the root and just let that run. Ah, That's beautiful. Feel it. There blue, you go. Blue light's flooding through. Yep, just flood that through. Beautiful blue light. Okay, you want to add anything else, no, Curly? That's perfect. Yeah, I'm getting that's perfect. So anything else you want to add, Laura? I'm clear. I just want to say what a blessing you both are. And you have really, uh, you're just doing beautifully together. There's been a beautiful melding here. So thank you for all your work. Really. Okay. And again, thank you for calling in. Thank you for calling in, Laura. We really appreciate it. So I want to remind everybody that I'm here in Pennsylvania um, with Carol Lee. And we're um, facilitating an event tomorrow evening in the Shanksville area. So if you want to register or get more information about the True Moon event, you can go to our website at awarenessbeyond.com and go from there. But we would love to see you and we would love to have you join join the group. It's going to be a really fun night. There's going to be tons of energy. We're going to be using our crystal bowls as well as sound. And we're going to talk about what the moon really does. <laughs> and, and clearing some of that. So... I guess that's it for tonight. So I just want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. And like, again, we're on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio and listening to A Call to Heal today. And again, if you want more information on Carol Lee and myself and what we do, please check out awarenessbeyond.com and there's information there. So we just want to say Thanks to all of you, and if you want to be on our call next week, just call in right at 7 o'clock, and we take our callers in the order that they call in. And thank you all. We appreciate you. Good night. You've been listening to A Call to Heal with your hosts, Carol Lee and Julia. Join us each week and be the best you can be on the next episode of Carol Lee and Julia's A Call to Heal. been listening to the bbm global network the ideas views and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas views and opinions of the bbm global network company